Lieutenant Price, the meeting is underway. Enemy transport sighted entering the target area. So I can't move, I'm just kind of here. I have this photo here to nicely remind you who you're actually shooting. And a big gun for you to use. The one's getting the which I assume was on our back. Compensate for it, or you can wait it out. But he might leave before it dies down. That's your goal. Remember what I taught you. Keep in mind variable humidity and wind speed along the body's flight path. At this distance, you also have to take the Coriolis effect into account. So you're meant to be taking into account wind and distance and everything. Which is a bit ridiculous, you're not actually being that technical about it. You're watching the flag and seeing what way the wind is going. Watch for any change in one speed and direction. Note also he has two arms right now. Whereas earlier he only had one arm. So like this for flag or drop. Kind of a moment it's like a perfect shot to take, this guy just appears. It really kind of takes advantage of the fact you'll be fully zoomed in so that it just like fills your screen up just to annoy you. I'll probably fail this several times. The target's still standing. Keep firing. Nah, I totally missed. Get to take the helicopter out though. The wind's getting a bit choppy. You can compensate for it, or you can wait it out. But he might leave before it dies down. That's your goal. So I'm shooting, so he's 900 meters away. Remember what I taught you. Keep in mind variable humidity. Which, you know. <laughs> At this distance, you also have to take the Coriolis. What do you even do with that information? Like, you don't even know how big anything is. But, again, it's meant to make it feel. I think I see him. Give it some verisimilitude or whatever that word is. Target acquired. I have a positive ID on Emran Zakaev. He meant to feel like much more professional because he'd been given these numbers. Watch for any change in one speed and direction. Damn, it went white. Probably should have waited for the wind to die down. I don't think bullets work like that. The wind's getting a bit choppy. You can compensate for it, or you can wait it out. But he might leave before it dies down. That's your goal. Remember what I taught you. Keep in mind variable humidity and wind speed along the body's flight path. At this distance, you also have to take the Coriolis effect into account. Okay, I think I see him. Wait for my mark. Target acquired. Target is down. I shot left There we go. Shut that onto and take out that helicopter. He lost an arm. And now you have to shoot a helicopter. Great shot, Lieutenant. Now let's go. They'll be searching for us. So I guess at that moment between long distance assassination shot and blowing up a helicopter. This mission clearly kind of goes from very sneaky, stealthy assassination to all that action because, well, they know you're there now, I guess. I do like these scenes, you see that repeated again in later ones. Um, the camera forcing you to look up while you repel and then just where you came from blowing up. So now we have a timer. Um, I'm going to keep going. I might have to separate this video into two videos depending on how much I screw this up. But um, I'll load these both at the same time. So this part's really hard because you don't have a machine gun or a shotgun. You need to get one ASAP. Get 
Uh, he wasn't. That wasn't Macmillan. <laughs> so again, the reason I have a timer, Jesus Christ. The reason I have a timer is because they're running out of fuel. Again, everyone's running out of fuel. I really hate these big heavy machine guns. Um, they have these massive magazines, and they take forever to reload. Um, and my muscle memory just makes me want to reload every time I take a shot. Um, oh my god, they're coming from this way as well. Uh, I probably shouldn't have dropped my um, sniper rifle. I'm just gonna lay in the grass for a while. Fuel shortage be down. I need to get behind all these people. This is not good. Right. Didn't do that as um, naturally as it should have been. Open a door for me, McMillan. Left all my um, expensive military hardware behind. Good work, Lieutenant Price. Okay. I was wondering why he wasn't going forward, I guess that's why. Stand by. Quick, plant the claymore by the door up ahead. That's claymore. Tango down. So now we get this great kind of action movie moment in a moment. Oh yeah, I do want my sniper rifle for later. I just remembered. <laughs> oh well. What? I meant to snipe him. I don't have a sniper rifle. What you snipe him? That part looks much more elegant and ridiculous action movie. -y. <laughs> when you have a sniper rifle. Never noticed that before. Macmillan tries to do the cool walking away from an explosion and then suddenly because he does that gets hit by a helicopter. Sorry mate, you're gonna have to carry me. If we run into trouble, you'll have to find a good spot to put me down so I can cover you. So now you're still trying to get out, your time is still running down. Shadows of dudes up ahead. It's really nice of him not to start shooting until I put him down. Oh, I hope he shot him. No, he didn't. That's not good. I thought he was dead. Looks like we're in the clear. 
We should get moving. No, got rid of my big machine gun. Sun setting now as well, of course, because closing in on the end of the mission. Stealth past these guys? I don't know. Oh dear. Let's just run. Do do do. So that's a little weird. <laughs> It's not really explained how you get through, but... Yeah, I just broke a dog's neck. That's a thing that happened. I have nothing to say about that, but it seems like something that would be weird not to comment on. All right, I guess that's the game's way of telling me I've um, missed somebody. I'm pretty sure these rooms are clear, dude. Someone's probably about to appear and kill me. We're almost there. The extraction point is on the other side of that building. An old fair. What? Tango down. Looks like we're in the clear. We should get moving. There's probably some intended symbolism of bringing us to Chernobyl moments after a nuclear bo we got killed in a nuclear bomb blast with another character. A bit to the I guess. This will be fine. All right, so now we have to defend this place until our people get here. Oh, good. There's a sniper rifle here. I'll signal the helicopter in 30 seconds. So I'm just kind of defending the area. Claymores aren't really that useful. There's way too many people anyway, but... Whatever. How many Claymores do you have? I like that down of a compass, it tells you how far away uh, the chopper is. It's kind of excruciatingly slow timer while you're trying to survive. Oh, all these people start appearing. Open fire. Like the moment you shoot, they all just duck. And they all just disappear. It's just really, um, it's just kind of well done, I think. Simple moment. Don't know how I wasn't hitting that guy, but gotta get neutralized. Tango down. 
So his mission's really gone full circle from like sneaking in here super quietly to um, just two guys defending themselves against a wave of enemies. After it should be pointed out a failed assassination attempt, uh, obviously because Zakayev is still alive, but we got rid of his arm. Oh my god, die already. So eventually the sniper's sniping fails and you end up just kind of pinned behind a pole, just trying to funnel them all in one direction. Fortunately, Macmillan can't be killed. Um, as far as I know, anyway, I probably can actually. If I save it, then he will be. But it's not likely to happen, you don't have to spend all your time defending him. Wonder. That would have been nice. Maybe if I picked up one of those stinger missiles right at the start of this level. It's so frustrating never being able to actually see anyone. I better say, I think Macmillan's doing a lot more of a work than I am right now. Enemy choppers and bones. Tango down. Oh, who did that? Can write comments under this video about how if I was playing on PC with a mouse, I would have just hit all of those. I usually just end up going and hiding behind the dodging cars over there and just like letting them come at me one after a time. It really is quite tense. Um, I think, you know, there's a lot more who stay back there rather than come at you. But it feels like there's a lot of them. And you constantly feel like you're being attacked from a lot of different directions. So it's manageable, but it's very much um, having to watch a lot of things at once. There's even more coming. Got him. That's nearly here. So this is the overall pacing of this level. It just kind of rolls from, um, you know, from quiet with a few little spikes to just this, you know, total quiet while you're trying to sniper to then ridiculous over the top noises while you're running away machine gunning everyone and sniping helicopters. 
they get there before they run out of fuel. So it's just kind of um yeah, so I think the, the pacing of this level, like just for where it kind of flows, um I think it's just kind of demonstrative of what I like about these games generally, like when they have missions like this, they just work really well. Where you're just kind of going from that kind of sneaking, stealthy bit to these kind of frantic, close escapes. Without kind of any real seams between the two. And then you realize you haven't been breathing. You've been holding your breath until this moment where you're finally safe. They just do that kind of flow really well. Uh, and that mission is probably better demonstrates. But, and then you fly over that where you started and the, you know, the flames coming out of a sniper spot. I really like that kind of returning to the start of that second half of the mission to kind of remind you in the first place why you were going. So now we're back here with Price and Gaz and Soap, you know, after Price has told his story about just who Zakayev is. Well, we didn't really find out who Zakayev is at all, I guess. We just know Alistar is working for him. We'll delay them all the way back to the top and hold our ground at the So now we're defending that barn and area Any questions? to be extracted. Um, now that we've killed Alassad. Um, so I'll end this here, but really so far... Right, so this is eight hours later, after Alassad's death. Um, I'll pause that there because I'm going to start again in the next episode there. But... So really, plot-wise, not a whole lot has happened yet in this game, and not a lot does happen. It's a very simple story, like even that whole Gillied Up mission, which in itself is this really, really well-done mission. It's just kind of an aside of, it doesn't even tell us who Zakayev is, it just tells us that this is why Price knows who Zakayev is. Um, but it's still in itself this really well-done mission, which is kind of this game in a nutshell. Like there is no, There's no exciting story here, but some it's really interesting well done storytelling um but yeah so that will continue with the next mission um but we'll leave it there for now thanks